Welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to solve Meghalaya DL Ads entrance exam mathematics questions. So let's start. Question 31. Two students appear at, a, at an examination. One of them secured nine marks more than the other, and his marks was 56% of the sum of their mark. What are the marks obtained by them? So let's calculate. Let the marks of one student be x. So the marks of the other student will be x plus 9. Since the other student have 9 more marks than the, this student. So the sum of their mark will be this x plus x plus 9. Plus the mark of the other student. That is 2x plus 9. x plus x will be 2x plus this 9. So 2x plus 9. So as per the question. The mark of the other student, this is the mark of the other student is equal to 56%, that is 56 by 100, okay, 56%, 56% of the sum of their mark, sum of their mark is 2x plus 9 of the sum of their mark, so let's solve this, x plus 9 is x plus 9, which is equal to 56 by 100 is 14 by 25, if you can sell, okay, into is into, into, sum of their mark is 2x plus 9, so if you cross multiply, we will get 25x plus 225 is equal to 28x plus 126. So if you simplify this, you will get 3x is equal to 99. So again, if you cross multiply, this x will remain here and then 3 will go down. So it will become 99 by 3. So 99 by 3 is 33. So the, amount, the marks of the other student is 33. Okay. So the mark of the one student is 33, therefore the mark of the other student is 33 plus 9, okay, 33 plus 9, which is equal to 42. So the mark of both student is 33 plus 33 and 42, so 33 and 42, 33 and 42, option A is correct. Question 32, the population of a town increased from... 1,75,000 to 2,62,500 in a decade. What is the average percent increase of population per year? Here's the option. So let's solve this. As per the question, decades mean decades mean 10 year. Okay, 10 year. So increase in 10 year or in decades mean. So after 10 years, the population is 2,62,500, okay? Before it was 1,25,000. So if we minus this, we will get 87,500. This is the increase, okay? From the first year till 10 years. So after 10 years, this is the increase in population. So increase percentage will be 87,500 by the previous population that is 1,25,000 into 100% which is equal to 50%. So the required average percentage will be 50% by 10 because it was saying about decade. Okay, decades 10 years. So if we cancel 0 and 0, we will get 5. So 5% 5 is the correct answer. So option C is correct answer, 5%. So the average percent increase of population per year is 5%. Question 33. In an examination, 80% candidate pass in English and 85% pass in maths. If 73% pass in both subjects, then what percentage of candidates fail in both the papers? Here, the question is asking how much percent of a candidate fail in both the paper, okay, in both English and in both English and mathematics, okay. So let's solve this. Student pass in English is given 80% and student pass in mathematics is 85%. So student pass in both subjects also given 73%. So we need to find the number of student pass in at least one of the subjects. Okay. The number of student pass in at least one of the subjects will be the student pass in both English and math. Both English and math is 80 and 85. This is English. 80 is for English. 85 is for math. Minus. The student pass in both the subject is 73, which is called 92. So 92% will be the number of students who pass in at least one of the subject, okay? 
the percentage of student pass in english and mathematics individually have already okay included in the percentage of student pass in both subjects so we are subtracting percentage of student who have passed in both subject to find out the percentage of student at least pass in one of subject okay so student fail in both subject will be 100 percent okay at first student so minus this 92 percent this 92 percent the person who passed in at least one of subject so eight percent is the student who fail in both subjects so option option a is correct answer eight percent Question 34. 30 men working 16 hours per day construct a school in 20 days. In how many days will 24 men work 20 hours per day? So let this 30 men is M1 and 16 hours is H1. 20 days is day 1. And 24 men is m2 20 hours is h2 so we need to find okay and how many days day two you don't know so we need to find we need to find day two so this is the formula okay so if you put the value m1 is 30 h1 is 16 d1 is 20 days m2 is m2 is 24 and then h2 is 20 and d2 we need to find okay so if we cross multiply then 30 into 16 into 20 by 24 into 20 is equal to d2 20 cancel 20 so 2 a is 16 2 12 is 24 4, 2, 8, 4, 3, 12, 2, 2 into 30 is 60, divide this 3 remain as 3, so 3, 1 is 3, 3, 20 is 60, so 20, 20 hours, okay. It should be actually 20 days, here they give hours, so 20 days. Option A is correct answer, okay, 20 days, because here they already give 24 men working for 24 hours per day. So option A is correct, 20 days. What is the least number of square tiles required to pave the floor of a classroom that is 15 meter, 17 centimeter long and 9 meter, 2 centimeter width? So let's solve this. So let the length of the room will be it is given in the question 15 meters 17 centimeters so this 15 meter need to change to centimeter okay in order to change to centimeter we need to multiply 15 meter into 100 because 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter okay 1 meter so we need to apply by we need to multiply by 100 so 15 into 100 will become 1500 okay 1500 so 1500 plus the 17 will become 1517 centimeter okay the length of the room is 1517 meter so the breadth of the room is that's the width of the room is 9 meter by 2 centimeter so again this 9 meter need to change to 9 centimeter okay 9 meter if we change to centimeter then it will become 900 centimeter okay 900 centimeter plus this 2 centimeter will become 902 centimeter so the HCF of this 1517 and 902 will be the size of the square of a tile okay so HCF of 1517 and 902 is equal to 41 I think every one of you know how to find the how to find this HCF so the HCF if you find we will get 41 okay centimeter so the area of the room will be length to breadth. Okay, we know the formula. Okay, area is equal to length to breadth. Area of room is equal to length into breadth. Okay, so the length is fifteen hundred and seventeen, and the breadth is nine hundred and two centimeter. Okay, so area of the tiles will be 
फोर्टी वन बाई फोर्टी वन से तीन का स्क्वायर वी नो ओके एरिया एरिया इज ऑलवेज गिवेन इन स्क्वायर ओके इन स्क्वायर सो द नंबर ऑफ दल इज फिफ्टीन द नंबर ऑफ दल रिक्वायर्ड इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सेवेंटीन इन टू नाइन हंड्रेड एंड टू बाई द एरिया ओके नंबर ऑफ दल रिक्वायर विल बी लेंग एरिया ऑफ द रूम बाय एरिया ऑफ दल ओके एरिया ऑफ द रूम इज दिस वन इन द न्यूमरेटर एंड एरिया ऑफ द दल इज इन डिनोमिनेटर इफ यू कैन सेल दिस देन वी विल गेट एट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन दल्स ओके सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए एट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन दल्स क्वेश्चन थर्टी सिक्स ए बोर्ड कैन ट्रेवल एट द स्पीड ऑफ क्वेश्चन थर्टी सिक्स ओके A boat can travel at a speed of 13 km per hour in still water. Okay, this is the speed of the boat in still water. And if the speed of the stream is 4 km per hour, find the time taken by the boat to go 68 km downstream. So we need to find the speed downstream. Okay, this is the formula. Okay, speed downstream is equal to speed of the boat in still water plus speed of the stream. So it is given in the question. Speed of the boat in still water is 13. Kilometer per hour and the speed of the stream is four kilometer per hour, which is equal to seventeen kilometer per hour. So speed downstream is seventeen kilometer per hour. So time taken to travel sixty-eight kilometer downstream is, we know okay speed is equal to distance by time. So we need to find time. Okay, so time is equal to distance distance by speed. Okay, so time travel six for travel sixty-eight kilometer downstream is equal to distance by speed. Distance by speed. Distance is sixty-eight. Okay. To travel sixty-eight kilometer, so distance is sixty-eight given, and speed is also given seventeen. Okay, so if you cancel sixty-eight by seventeen, we will get four. Okay, because seventeen into four is equal to sixty-eight, so four kilo four hours. So time taken is four hours. So option C is the correct answer. So in this video, I am going on to solve only this mathematics. Okay, I already solved mathematics question. So I'll continue from question thirty-seven till fifty in the next video. Thank you for watching and do subscribe if you like my videos.